Every once in a while, you get a tweet that is truly game-changing. If you didn't see this today, um, here in October 2021, uh, Microsoft made an interesting tweet, and it basically said, hey, do you want to see something cool? And they had a URL in it, and I'm just going to go to it. It's called vscode.dev. Check this out. VS Code is running in your browser. Um, the whole, th um, everything you need to edit code in here. And look, you can open up a remote repository in GitHub. And you know, that's kind of cool. But check this out. I can open a folder and I can open folders right on my local drive here. I can select it. And then um, if I'm in Chrome or supported browsers, I can hit here and say view files. And look, it pulls that local workspace right into my folder and bam, look at that. I now have access to VS Code. And if I log in, I can also turn on my uh, sync settings. And I'm going to sign in to turn on here. I'm going to sign in with my GitHub account. And now it'll start um, syncing in my settings. And look, it changed my browser to my default settings with, on my local VS code. And, and I'm right in here and this is like blazingly fast. I can change code, whatever I want. I could put something like V2 here, real quick changes. And then it's going to prompt me. You'll be able to edit that until you close all the tabs of the site. So save the changes. Yeah. And what I, what I have here is I have just like you would in VS code locally, I have file and I have auto save on. And so this is saving it locally to my drive. I could publish from here. Um, I could uh, do a commit from GitHub and push that up to Netlify. I can make a lot of all the code changes that I would need to do. And it supports everything. So I can also have um, an image editor in here. So you can see here, I've got a full blown image editor in here, um, as well as um, is support for CSS. So when I go over here and look at my glass style here that I'm working on, um, pretty cool because look at this, even the, uh, the color picker right here built into the browser and everything you need to know, all the IntelliSense, you can see here it tells me that this is the selector specificity for um, CSS. Um, and you can see here, I have this CF style here and it tells me that's, you know, it's a dot. So it means class equals class CF style. So a really the robust CSS editor you're used to, you come over here and you have your um, HTML editor that you're used to. The same thing, the indention, the color coding. And guess what? You also have broad extension support. So even um, the Coder Foundry snippet is... Um, couldn't be installed right here. Um, it's kind of cool, as well as some other ones that um, I put in here. Note um, that Beautify didn't work, but Prettier does have a version that works on the VS Code for the web. So it is pretty full functional code editor right here in the browser. So, you know, if you're like a secret agent or something like that, and all you have is access to an iPad and it's between you and the, the end of the world, now you can make that code change right on your iPad with VS Code and save the world. Save the world. But VS Code.dev in the browser, a full featured code editor from Microsoft and um, it'll allow you to edit your code on a low power machine and even something as small as an iPad. We tried it out on a phone while not usable kind of works in a pinch so vs code in the browser on the web check it out at vscode.dev anyway i hope that helps good luck and keep coding